Reverend Insanity by Gu Ren. Chapter 224 White Bone Inheritance, Part 3 Inside the creepy flesh sack chamber, the four flesh walls were covered with mouths, each one grinning wide with their teeth clenched tight. Not only that, these mouths were giving off spine-chilling laughter, making one could not help but shudder. Fang Yuan tapped by Ning Bing's shoulder and said, This is the laughing flesh goose effect. It is no different from the underground vault flower. It is used for goose storage. You need not worry. As he was speaking, on one of the mouths, all teeth fell off, and a fleshy red tongue rolled out. It was very long, a bit over a meter. There was a book wrapped inside. It was another bone book, but compared to the gray bone big book, this one was rather portable, only half the size of an adult's palm. Fang Yuan gave the book a quick read. It said that if the successor could reach this place, then it would have proven that their heart was pure, enough to inherit his true legacy. The creator of this inheritance has two identities, one called the Grey Bone Scholar, the other called Flesh Bone Nobleman. This flesh secretary chamber housed many precious goo, and since their paths had met, they might as well try to shake these teeth off. If their luck was right, they could get the teeth to open and take the bugs sleeping inside. This is a test of pure luck. Was Fang Yuan's takeaway from looking at the scene. Bai Hua did not talk much about what happened at this gate, so he could not do anything but check out the mouths one by one. Surprisingly, the first one to find anything was Bai Ning Bing, when she tapped her finger on a tooth, resulting in a musical note. She was just looking around, but the mouth had stopped laughing. All the teeth fell off, and out from inside rolled out a tongue, with a goo inside. What goo is this? Seeing this goo, Bai Ning Bing's face immediately turned to an expression of surprise and happiness. The goo looked like a set of dentures of spotless pearly white teeth, perfectly aligned. Fang Yuan looked, and his face also showed excitement. Not bad, this is the extremely famous rank 3 healing goo, flesh white bone. Raising dead, flesh white bone. Bai Ning Bing mumbled. Among rank 4 goo healing goo, it was agreed that the first place would be Raising Dead Goo. Raising Dead Goo was accepted to be the number one healing goo among rank 4. Even after a goo master had died, as long as it had not passed 14 hours and their bodies were intact, one could use this goo to bring them back. Unfortunately, Raising Dead Goo was extremely rare and valuable because it could not be refined and was a one-time use expendable goo, which had only driven up its cost further. Flesh White Bone, on the other hand, was only a rank 3 goo. However, it was not an expendable type goo and could be reused over and over. Often used in conjunction with raising dead goo, if a goo master's corpse wasn't intact, one could first use Flesh White Bone goo to fix up the flesh wounds before using raising dead goo to resurrect them. Throughout history, this pairing was quite common and had benefited a lot of top-tier people, including a few rank 9 immoral venerables and demonic venerables. It was truly an ideal healing goo for Fan Yuan. He had been painfully searching for so long, and now his wish was finally realized. Haha, <laughs> you want it? You can trade for it with the Yang goo. Holding the goo in her hand, Bai Ning Bing laughed in satisfaction. Fan Yuan sneered. You think I am stupid? Bai Ning Bing's smile faded and her gaze became cold. We can come to an agreement as long as you hand over the Yang Gu. Fang Yuan, I have followed you for so long, but know that my patience has a limit. I am not afraid of dying. Worst case scenario we will both die together. You aren't afraid of death, but you think I am? Fang Yuan sneered, having already expected such reactions. Bai Ning Bing pulled back her gaze and carefully checked the flesh white bone goo she had in hand. The corner of her lips curled up. Killing you might also be a good option. Look at yourself, you may only be rank 1 but you can instantly refine on goo, and you also have the heavenly primeval treasured lotus. Not to mention, if I kill you now, I can get this inheritance all for myself. Just thinking about it makes my heart beat fast with excitement. Possess this inheritance? 
Ha, huh, did you forget about the Bai clan who is chasing us down right now? They could be walking down that flight of stairs outside at any moment. Without me, do you know where to go next? This inheritance may look like a one-way path, but it actually has many branches. Though I am indeed not fighting you at the moment, you are too naive to think you can seize all the treasures by killing me. Do you think I will let you take the Yanggu? Just try it, if you don't believe me. Fang Yuan then turned around and started knocking at the teeth randomly again. As it was said before, he didn't know where to go from here. This secret chamber didn't seem to have any other exits. Bai Ningbing stared at Fang Yuan's completely defenseless backside. If only looks could kill. However, despite all odds, she did not strike recklessly. His words had struck her mind. Without Fang Yuan, where could she go next? Returning the way she came would be a death road. Bai Ningbing narrowed her eyes, and for a moment, even found herself wondering if the Bai clan's attack was part of Fang Yuan's calculation, to create an external force to prevent her from trying to kill him? Till now, Bai Ningbing was still puzzled. She couldn't understand. Why did the Bai clan cooperate and accompany him all the way here? She had been constantly under a deep sense of worry ever since she was trapped under his thumb. Being the owner of the Yanggu, he would always have that edge against her. And even though Fang Yuan had given his words he would hand over the Yanggu to her, once he reached rank 3, just look at what kind of person he was. Bai Ning Bing couldn't be clearer about this. Going back on his words was a common thing to Fang Yuan, as natural as eating and drinking. She would rather die before trusting him. Take something that happened recently as examples. That miserable by clan chief, wasn't she a capable woman? An actually smart person with the right mind, but look what happened after she listened to Fan Yuan and her current sorry state. He was too good of an actor. Goosebumps covered by Ning Bing's body when she recalled the scene where Fan Yuan shed tears in front of the banquet. What a sly fox. He even intentionally glanced at Bai Lian several times, just to lay a trap in which the Bai clan was very happy to step in. Bai Ning Bing could still remember the expression on Bai Lian's face when Fan Yuan betrayed them, completely shocked and lifeless. What Bai Ning Bing was most worried about now was Fan Yuan not handing over the Yang Gu even after he had reached rank 3. It was just too great a chance. Now I am a rank 3, and he is still rank 1, so I still hold some initiative. But later, when he reaches rank 3, wouldn't I just become his chess piece then? Bai Ning Bing was holding this kind of fear inside her heart, and it only worsened after she saw him use the green copper Sari Ragu to instantly break through to rank 1 upper stage. She was extremely stressed out by the situation, but unbeknownst to her, a lot of somebody else's were having quite a day as well. What's going on? The group of people stood outside the exit of the inheritance, confusedly checking their surroundings, their faces quickly turned ugly. After encountering the inheritance creator's corpse, they went through a few more bone halls but did not once run into Fang and Bai. And now, they had reached the end, they were out from inside the mountain. So that's what happened. Tai Daoku suddenly burst, which got many people's attention. Brother Tai, what do you mean? The Bai clan chief asked. If it was any other time, with her sharp eyes and keen senses, she would have deducted the answer already. However, her children's kidnapping had consumed most of her attention. Tai Daoku broke off a tree branch and drew on the ground. This Baigu Mountain inheritance seems to be a one-way path, but it actually has many branches. Like this branch in my hand. The path at the start should have been the same for both us and them. That's why we could see the traces along the way. There must have been a turn where we diverged. Do you remember the second hallway? There were three pillars, and I suspect that there was a contraption set up inside. In the third hallway, the Grey Bone Scholar's skeleton did not look like it had been touched. All clues point toward the second hall being the point of divergence. Let's go back then, hurry! The Bai Clan chief shouted coldly before Tai Daoku could finish his sentence. Time continued to pass, despite Fang Yuan's wish for it to slow down by 50, or maybe even 60, times. 
He knew the Baigu Mountain's inheritance maze would only buy them so much time before the Bai Clan Gu masters performed a thorough sweep, then he and Bai Ning Bing would be in real danger. The ironic thing was, Fan Yuan himself didn't know where to go from here either. The secret chamber didn't have any other exits, and they obviously could not come back the way they came as there must have been guards assigned to watch over known routes while their main team explored new paths. Could this be the final inheritance place? Did Bai Hua and Bai Shang obtain all their goo bugs from these mouths here? That can't be, the rumors in my previous life said Bai Hua and Bai Shang arrived at a precipice after going through this inheritance site. Even the Bai clan had publicly acknowledged this to be true. Maybe the mechanism to open the passage is hidden in one of these mouths? Fang Yuan's mind moved at a lightning fast speed. They didn't have much time. Bai Ning Bing was confused. Not knowing what state they were in, she assumed Fang Yuan must have prepared some plan. However, he knew better that the situation was much more deadly than that. The door leading into the chamber was not made with defensive purposes in mind, so at any moment, a furious mob of Bai Clan Gu Master could be kicking it down to get in. By then, we can only rely on Bai Hua and Bai Sheng as our protective charms, but this is not a very reliable guarantee. This world has many wondrous goo bugs. And there are too many goo with human controlling abilities by causing dizziness, hypnosis, paralysis, and so on. The Bai clan is powerful and can definitely have such methods. As he was thinking, Fang Yuan couldn't help but look at Bai Hua and Bai Sheng. The twin brother and sister were lying on the ground, still unconscious. Got it. He suddenly got a great idea and woke both of the kids up. Time was pressing, and he needed more manpower. After all, Bai Hua and Bai Sheng were supposed to be the true fated heir to the inheritance in his past life. Their aperture had not yet been opened, so they were still mortals, easier to control. Immediately carrying his idea into action, he walked over and kicked at the children. If you enjoy listening to Reverend Insanity, please give the like button a tap. Chapter 225 Jade Bones, Steel Bones The explosion went off shortly before the bone wall collapsed, and a new root appeared in front of everyone. It was always easier to destroy, especially when the inheritance creator was not here to actively defend it. We have news from ahead. The fifth route has been cleared but the target has not been found. Reporting to Clan Chief, I entered the sixth route and found a bone hall. There was a skeleton and a big bone book next to it. Reporting, the seventh route also has a hallway with similar structure, with a skeleton sitting cross-legged and also a bone book. Reporting to Clan Chief, we have discovered the eighth route. Search again. The Bai Clan Chief's face was gloomy. There were eight huge bone books piled up in front of her. This design goes after people's hearts. When a goo master finds the skeleton and bone book, they would think that they had taken all of the inheritance, not knowing that, in fact, the Grey Bone Scholar had set up many similarly carved hallways. The true inheritance must be among one of them. Tai Daoku said, which got the Bai Clan Chief's brows furrowed even deeper. The situation had become complicated. She wasn't worried that Fang and Bai would head back the way they came, mainly because she had already assigned people to stand guard at every route's entrances. What she worried the most about was Fang and Bai could escape from within the inheritance area. After all, she could only control the entrance and not the countless exits. Right at this moment, a goo master rushed over with an ecstatic expression on his face. Found it! We found a bone hallway in the eighth route. The skeleton there has been smashed to pieces and the goo bug in the skull has also been taken. That must be the route they took! Lead the way! The Bai Clan chief immediately shot up. Soon, a large group of people had gathered in the bone hallway. How can there be two secret tunnels? Which route did those two demonic path bastards take? Doesn't matter, we will just split into two groups and search both. Once we reach them, we must protect the young masters no matter what. The flight of stairs leading to the flesh sack secret chamber caught their attention. 
Flesh sack, sack secret, secret chamber. chamber. They made their way down the stairs. The door was blasted open. The group flocked inside. However, there was not a soul in the secret chamber. <laughs> the numerous mouths on the wall were making all sorts of creepy laughs. What nonsense is this? Laughing flesh goo, specifically used to store treasures. All these mouths here are like drawers. This one here is open quite wide, they might have gone through here. The Bai Clan chief glanced around before finally, her chilly gaze staring at the only secret tunnel in this chamber. You, you, and you will remain behind. The rest of you, follow me. A while ago, in the same secret chamber, Bai Xing had just regained consciousness when he felt a sharp pain to his stomach. If you don't want to die, stand up. He heard a ruthless voice. The voice he would never be able to forget. It was the speaker of this very voice who had fooled everyone in his clan and kidnapped him. Even his identity as the Guyu clan's young master must have been a fake. A deceitful. Disgusting. Demon. Quietly cursing in his heart, Bai Xing stood up obediently, only to find himself in a bizarre place, where the walls were flesh littered with scary grinning mouths showing their teeth. The cacophony of laughter was reverberating in his ears. Laughing flesh goo? The words blurted out as Bai Xing recalled the books he read. Little guy, you are young but quite knowledgeable. Fan Yuan smiled. If the rumors from his previous life could be taken seriously, the Bai clan siblings were allegedly geniuses, especially big brother Bai Xing who showed great wisdom at a very young age with his photographic memory. Just now he was able to recognize the laughing flesh goo, it seemed the rumors were probably not baseless. You too! Bai Xing gritted his teeth, staring straight at Fan Yuan and Bai Ning Bing with boiling hatred. Big brother! Bai Hua had also woken up from Fan Yuan's kicking. She ran to Bai Xing's side, audibly sobbing. He tried his best to shield his sister. What tight siblings? You malicious woman! You may have grown up to be pretty, but your heart is as venomous as a scorpion. Bai Xing fearlessly scolded Bai Ning Bing. The smile on her face immediately vanished. His words had stabbed her deeply. Woman, pretty, these were the words she did not want to hear one bit. She grabbed Bai Sheng and slapped him three times. Bai Ning Bing was enhanced with one crocodile strength, so even with her restraining the majority of the force, Bai Sheng's face was shortly made a swollen mess. You venomous woman! You evil woman! Kill me already if you have the guts! Bai Xing continued to curse. Please, let my big brother go! Please let him go! Bai Hua cried, grabbing onto Bai Ning Bing's leg. Sister, don't beg her! Bai Xing spoke with difficulty. Fang Yuan sighed, then came and grabbed Bai Hua by the collar. The little girl cried out in panic from being lifted up. Bai Sheng, no longer acting tough, cried. Evil bastard, let go of my sister! Fang Yuan reached out and pinched Bai Hua's cheek, then with an unhurried tone, he spoke. So noisy! If you make any more fuss, do you not believe that I will cut off both of your tongues? Yes, how about I start by cutting off this little girl's tongue first? A slight smile raised the corners of his lips, his eyes flashed cold with killing chi. Bai Hua was scared shut and stopped crying even though there were still tears pouring from her eyes. Bai Xing wanted to talk back, but his heart shivered in fear at the sight of Fan Yuan, so he kept his mouth shut. This is good. Cooperate with me and, maybe, I will let you live. He was still smiling. Hearing that, Bai Ning Bing's mouth twitched, which he immediately added. I am telling the truth. I don't dare to make an enemy of your mother, kidnapping you is solely for our safety. If you listen to us, we will let you go. Of course, if you don't, haha, I don't mind cutting off your tongues, or a few of your fingers to play with. What do you want us to do? The boy took a deep breath. 
He wasn't so much afraid of the cold by Ning Bing, but was terrified by the smiling Fang Yuan. Do you see these mouths on the walls? Smiling even bigger, he then explained to them the basic details of this room and let the two siblings go about knocking on the laughing teeth. Moments later, Bai Hua cried out in fear. In front of her, a mouth opened up, its scarlet tongue extended out, and revealed a bone sphere the size of a quail egg. It was covered with black and white stripes, which made Fang Yuan think of an animal from Earth, the zebra. He took the goo and got a closer look. To his pleasant surprise, this was a mobility-type goo, the footless bird. This goo was a single-use goo, but it was big and could fly thousands of miles. This was like getting a pillow when you were sleepy. Fang Yuan had just been worried about how to escape, and to think Bai Hua would present him with a footless bird. However, the surprise was just the beginning. After a while, Bai Xing also got something. He knocked open a mouth, and its tongue revealed a piece of bone. It was long and slender, with round smooth ends. There was a greenish glow to it, kind of like jade. Jade bone goo. Holding the goo in his hand, Fan Yuan immediately refine owned it and put it in his aperture. This time, it was by Ning Bing's turn to be envious. Jade bone goo could remodel the goo master's skeleton into that of a jade-like quality, making the bones stronger and more flexible. This effect was permanent like the black boar goo and white boar goo or the crocodile strength goo. More importantly, jade bone goo could be matched with ice muscle goo to produce a combined effect. Bai Ning Bing had got ice muscles, so she could not wait to also have her hand on this jade bone goo. Unfortunately, like the footless bird, jade bone goo was also a single-use goo. It also had a shortcoming. The goo master would experience intense pain while using it. Some weak-willed people had even died from the pain. Do you want it? You can trade for it with flesh-white bone goo. He smiled. Snorting loudly, she turned around, not speaking a word, just increasing her efforts and knocking off the teeth. However, this depended entirely on luck. Each mouth had ten teeth in total, and one must be able to knock off at least five in the correct order for the teeth to fall off. After her first try, Bai Ning Bing had not had any luck. As for Fan Yuan, he was even more miserable. The strange thing was, after another while, the twins each found something again. Bai Hua knocked down another set of teeth and provided Fan Yuan with a steel bone goo, while the one Bai Xing opened got wider and wider, morphing into a brand new secret tunnel. Such fortune shocked Bai Ning Bing. She had no clue that these twins were the true fated owner of this inheritance. Fate was an ethereal, mystical supernatural force. Some goo even had fragments of the law of fate in them, and could give goo masters the power of destiny. Since a new secret tunnel had opened up, Fan Yuan didn't think of staying here in this place any longer. The Bai clan goo masters could arrive at any time, and would take too long to go through all the remaining mouth cabinets. Fang Yuan again knocked Bai Sheng and Bai Hua unconscious and carried them both as he followed Bai Ning Bing into the big mouth which led to another hallway. This was the biggest hallway they had come across yet. The area was about six mu, and in the center, there was a bone pyramid. After checking their surroundings and noticing no dangers, Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing walked to the platform at the top of the pyramid. There, they found a beast skull sculpture, half a person tall, looking like it must have come from a lion or tiger with its teeth clenched tight. 